Derek and Dan, and we're going to show you guys a really good strategy that we're doing now, and we've been doing it for like 10 levels now, and it's right here. When you start off, you can't open this door, or it's really hard and it's not as a strategy anymore. You want to do open that door down there, that's Derek on the left and Dan on the right. The door that Dan is at right now on the right side. You're gonna open that and open everything else to get to the box. And when you get some good guns, you guys come where I am on the left side. And you want to get one person on this window right here by the fly spotter. All right, and then the other person can stay right here, and they get all the zombies coming in a line right here. And if you have four people put one on the window and three people can stay right here and it's really good. So we're going to do a couple rounds and just show you how good it is. Alright, so we're going to start now and kill our crawler. What you want to do is, when the person at the window, just throw a grenade at the wall, and go prone, try to get a crawler, the grenade won't hit you if you're prone. I don't see actual life is on fire. I know. Yeah, my zombies are having like a party here, you can see they're all jumping up in the air. I'd say the best amount of people to do this strategy with is by far three, because not too many zombies come with three people, and it's just easier. got one last zombie at the window that Dan is at right now, so we're not going to kill him because he's already got an arm blown off. So I'm going to go upgrade my gun and, yeah. So the rounds go by fast if you're in that strategy because it's just really good. Which one? Hmm? Yeah. Upgrade the ray gun, which will become the Porter's X2 ray gun. That's what I'm talking about! Usually, that's the most common gun that's upgraded to me and all my friends is the Porters. Because you can get it a lot. Alright, now I'm just going to get the box and I'll let Dan go and get some stuff. Try and get the monkeys because the waffle weapons. The zombie got loose. Broke out of his prison. Got him. Really? If you go to our channel, Cena Scene 9, we have a lot of other videos on Call of Duty 4 and other Nazi zombies. That's Cena Scene 9, and I just got down to one hit with Juggernaut. So, it's C E N A S E E N 9. 
and we have videos on how to do glitches, nice strategies, and some cool camping spots on all COD 4 and COD 5 maps. So, mm. Jumping all the way to the top of the thing and then. Did that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Yeah. No. There was some glitch or lag right there. I threw a grenade and it didn't go all right. off. Wait, dude, what is it? Did it blow up around? Oh, it's a car. You can let it loose. Alright, so that's all we're going to show you guys today. We'll and make a couple more videos on other good strategies on their eyes. Actually, I'm going to show you one quick dog glitch right now. If you come over to the Bowie knife and you go in the cave, I'm on the left screen, in the cave right here. Whenever dogs come, if you just crouch in this corner I am at right now, all dogs will just stop right there, but it can only hold one dog at a time. It won't damage you. They'll just look like it's attacking you, and it'll just be jumping at you. So if more than one get in, they'll both start attacking. But it's a good dog glitch for a single person. The rest of the people can go up there. So that's it. And um, hopefully you guys can use this strategy. All right, that's it. B&D gaming. Todd. Todd, not Coldy.